Hi guys, it's Maaike. Today I'm back with an easier and cheaper alternative for light up LED cards. And here it is. Well, one of the versions I made four already, so <laughs> it was so much fun. And the first one I did, um, I used these bulb LED lights. The, the old fashioned ones, you can buy them at any electronic shop or online. Um, I got them from Aliexpress via Amazon, I think, because I came out of China. I linked it down below. They're really, really cheap. And I'm pointing towards the legs. One is longer, one is shorter. And the longer one is the plus, and the shorter one is the minus, which is important because your battery has a plus side, which is this one, and a minus, which is the bumpy one, I would say. And this is one and a half volts, and my lights are uh, two, 1.8, I think. So it doesn't work on this battery. I thought it would be easier because it's smaller, but no. So you need three volts. There is no two volts, but um, the bulbs I link to are three volts. So this should work because there's no resistor in between the battery and the LED. <laughs> <It's a coughs> yeah, they might burn out if they get too much power. But I think three volt <laughs> is not the same as 12. So. Again, you can just push it if you put it the wrong way. The plus on the minus side, it just won't work. So it's easy to check, right? And I also link down below to a copper tape, which I also found on Amazon and on AliExpress. Um, but you can also use just aluminum tape or even kitchen foil, which is aluminum, and put some sticky tape behind it. It's a bit more of a faff, but for this version of the card, you don't need to. Um, building together the Marianne Design Collectible Santa, that is uh, 1391, but you can use a stamp or anything that you have, maybe um, a die card of a lantern or a little light in the house or a star, you know, anything that could use light, fireworks, because this set of 300. I think it cost me less than three euros and it um, has all kinds of colors, which is nice for fireworks. And yes, here I'm, I'm looking for the other hand. <laughs> it was left in the die, <laughs> I couldn't find it. So I'm just putting together the little bits and bobs and this version I put a strip of paper behind the center so I can stick the stuff on top. Uh, if you see my first attempt of it, I was trying to put them together and it was a bit wobbly. So uh, that little strip of paper could be a little bit narrower so you don't have anything to cut away. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's okay. It's an easy shape to cut out. And see, I put the belt on first so I knew how far his beard could go. And then I put the hat on with a little bit of a gap because the fur goes on top. And as I said, this is my um, umpteen fun. <laughs> I've been playing all through the night with my lights. It was so much fun. And um, yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> the little eyes. So what you need for this system is a, oh, see, there's the hand, a little hole puncher. Or if you have it, a really, 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 really small round die. Um, for his nose, and that's big enough to let the LED diode, it's a diode maybe in English, diode in Dutch. <laughs> um, there, there's a nose in the set, of course, but I'm not going to use it. See, I will just cut around what's sticking out. But if you take a little bit of paper that is narrower, you won't have all the cutting away, maybe just at the bottom where the shoes are, make a dent and, and on the top, it's easily done. Uh, for my first one, I have put the battery behind Santa and stacked it up on top of the card. But that's very uh, bulky, actually, I didn't like it. And I don't like the idea. I'm making two versions in this video, one with foam tape and it's like with shaker cards, when you build up the foam, you can see the 
mess on the side of the card and I really don't like that so <laughs> I pulled out craft foam as well just those sheets that you can get at the craft store or toy store and that looks much better but you need three layers so <laughs> he's still bulky and here I see uh, with the hole puncher you can go everywhere now for the back if you put him you could just use a bigger hole that still fits behind Santa I see I can just manage from this side and uh, Mariana design also has reindeers that you can build up like this and I think Rudolf with the red nose that would light up that was so funny but I don't have it so I, I use Santa and I thought he could be cold and have a red nose or maybe got an eggnog instead of milk at houses <laughs> he's being naughty but yeah, and I also use the glittery silver buckle, but you can use any color that you have, of course, so that's fine. And to show you, see that just goes through. I'm zooming in. I have to um, destroy the ones I already made. But first I'm going to put the sentiment on top before it gets too bulky and messy. Uh, make sure you do that, unless you use a die cut that you can stick later on top, then it's fine. So, this is um, some stamp Merry Christmas if you're interested. It's still available, but you can use any stamp that you have, of course. Now I'm sticking Santa on top of the card with the tape, double side tape. See here, I destroyed it, I've put him in the back. And it just fits, but it's just so fiddly and horrible looking on the um, sides. I don't like it. And here I want to show you, you have to bend the legs to make it flush with the card. And then put the other one sticking out, so that when you push it, you make contact. And you can bend these little legs of the LED lights, but not too often. So make sure you make... Um, proper bend before you um, try to rebend it and bend it again because uh, my mind didn't break but I'm sure that such a thin wire they will snap so when you stick Santa on top make sure the holes of the nose is aligned so your light goes through and yes make sure plus and minus you still know which one if it helps you you can just put a little color or tape on it but and here I'm making the bend so that it will go flush with the card. And that's why I showed you the one closer up because it's a bit fiddly. You have to make kind of a, like a U-turn. Can you see? If you can make that smaller, that's even better. But my yeah, my my pen a bit big. I think that will help with the depth, but you still have the depth of the battery anyway. So I'm putting some double-sided sticky tape on there so that the light doesn't move, but also the battery will move later. And now I'm bending the plus leg, the longer one. And once you start bending, yeah you won't know but you can put the battery any way up that you like if it doesn't work one way just turn the battery around and it will work the other way it just to make sure you identify the plus and minus see I'm testing it once in a while I'm playing with my card because it started to shine without pushing it. So here I'm making sure I know where the battery has to go and I'm just filling it up with foam tape. But as I said, it works because it's the easy way and we all have foam tape, but um, I don't like the way it looks so, so messy on the side and I needed four layers as well. So after this, I have also shown uh, how to do it with foam and craft foam you get them in big sheets and you cut them up 
to fit your car and I can get four sheets out of one big sheet because it's A4 and you can see how I bent it so as I said um, I've linked to 3 volts diodes on Amazon oh sorry about that and there are 1 cent <laughs> really cheap and you can get them at electronic store or hardware store as well if you want to set like this um, I've also linked it to where I got them at Aliexpress doesn't really matter where you get them just be patient for them to come in especially the copper tape that took a while but as I said you can use aluminium tape which you can get at the hardware as well that's uh, to stick venting channels together and I'm weighing it because all this foam tape is sure going to um, well, make your card very heavy so this is 29 30 grams without the envelopes it would mean two stamps in the Netherlands up to 20 grams but if you have the Christmas stamps you can put one because that's 50 grams and with a, a craft foam it's even a little bit more bulky and heavy and doesn't even fit in the standard envelope anymore so it's either hand deliver or make your own envelopes as well <laughs> you have the envelope punch board that's easy peasy I'm using the card base from the other card which I had to destroy to show you how I made it but as you can see I don't like the way it looks on the side and I'm sorry I'm a bit of a stickler for that um, people might not look but I know it's there <laughs> so after I made this I also made one with foam tape and you can see I just cut a little hole in the whole sheet and I'm layering it up with the craft foam and then um, it will be with three layers it will be enough unless you are able to bend your uh, legs uh, LED lights a little bit more economically but the battery has the thickness so you need the thickness so you see now it's 40 grams and that would still go for the Christmas stamps if you're in the Netherlands but it doesn't go into an envelope and I would suggest to use bubble wrap envelopes anyway because of the nose it's sticking out a little bit see but I like uh, this I used red because it's Christmas but you can use any color it doesn't really matter so thank you for watching and I will see you again soon bye